What's good, YouTube? It's Sly Huncho. So today, I'm going to give you three ways to get those flawless 360 wave connections. All right, so the first way to get your connections is by woofing. So woofing is when you go out your hair for a certain amount of time in order to better your waves, your connections, make them deeper, and really just get your waves on swim. So when you woofing, you want to woof them four to six weeks, and that's going to allow you to train your hair. When you woof, you don't want to woof for too long because you're over woof. Over woofing is when you woof for too long. You can't control or maintain your waves. Your waves will start to curl up. My longest woof was actually 36 weeks. So that's about let's see, 4, 8, 12, 16, 24, 16, 24, 16, 24. What? That count right? 4. <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> 16, 24. 25. I went for 36 weeks straight. That's nine months without a haircut. So let me show you one of the videos from when I woke. During the wolfing process, you can get a line of taper, but you can't cut down the top or it won't count. Well, wolfing will leave you ugly for a long time. Dude, I was ugly for nine months. All this messed up. Looked like I had bangs. Shoot. I probably wouldn't even go that long no more. I actually went to Atlanta to get it cut off by my boy Cashy. Let me go ahead and show y'all that video. No, 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 no. He needs some milk. The second way to get those flawless connections is by combing your hair. Combing your hair. Combing your hair will stretch out your waves and realign them so they connect with the other ones. So that's gonna allow you to break forks. So, before every brush session, I would comb my hair. I comb it out for five to 10 minutes, comb it each side. So if you got 360 waves, you're gonna comb it forward, down on the sides, down on the back. If you have pop, if you have pop, I just slobbered. Oh my gosh. Ain't got a hole in their mouth. Traffic, traffic, looking for my chapstick. My shit crusty? I was just making sure. Shoot. Where's that? So when you comb your hair, comb it with however which way your waves is going. Right now, I'll be using a rat tail comb. The longer your hair gets, the bigger comb you're gonna have to get. Right now, I'm actually wolfing. I've been wolfing since November 4th, so it's been about seven weeks. I'm gonna go all the way up until Valentine's Day. Okay. But until then, I'm gonna get like low tapers or small burst tapers on the side and low taper on the back. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all my waves right now.
All right, so I got 540 waves. Every time you see me take a bite of this chocolate, I was fucking up making this video. Not you when you're hungry. So with my waves, they go at an angle. They slant it all the way up into the crown. That's what makes it the swirl. Make sure you click the subscribe button below, turn on your post notifications, and smash that like button for me. So the third way to get those flawless 360 wave connections is by brushing. What I mean by brushing is brushing slow and consistent. So when you brush, you gotta do the same way every time. So if I brush down right here at this angle, I gotta do that every time. So what I recommend doing when you brush, is brushing go one way. And then when you hit to the stopping point for that side, just go back the same way you came. And just keep doing that. You could count your strokes. That's what I like to do. I usually do 100 each side with a hard, medium, and a soft brush. Or you could do it for five minutes on each side, whichever one. It's whatever feels comfortable for you. I can ask. See this chocolate boy. This got bloopers. Bloopers out the ears. As long as you stay consistent maintaining your wolf, combing, and your slow brushing, your waves are gonna be flawless. I promise you. If you don't believe me, you guys Brownie Blanche. You guys any waver out there. That is what's gonna get you those flawless 360 waves. Or 720s or 540s. Whatever you want. It's gonna work. Alright? So I'm gonna do a little comb back for y'all just to show y'all how long my hair is. It's week seven. It's probably not that long. A little long, got a little in. Now my other one is just so crazy. Hey, I think people would look at me crazy if I walked out like this. What y'all think? That shit is kind of long though. A little bit. Can't go to like my fingertips. They just, think, just, they just think shit funny today, man. Fuck, it's funny. Can <laughs> you stop looking at me? You don't I'm like me? I think I'm coming back down. You don't, <laughs> you don't like me like this? It's giving me Sanford and Son. Sanford and Son? She just called me San Francisco. Huh? Boy, be your own people. It's alright. I should just go to sleep like this. And just lay next to you. You think it's a game? Once your hair is trained, it's gonna go back down. All you gotta do is just brush it down after you comb it back down. Good. 
Also, I'm gonna do a rate that waiver video. So, for the rate that waiver video, DM me on Instagram at sly.huncho, your best headshot of your waves. Your waves will be rated by me and somebody else. So the winner will either get a free item of their choice from my website or $100. Rules to this is, you must be subscribed to my channel and you must follow me on Instagram at sly.huncho. Then DM me your best headshot of your waves and I'm gonna pick the 10 best photos. All photos must be in by December 29th. I'm gonna drop the video on January 1st, 2021, and the winner will be announced within that video, and they will be posted on Instagram. Make sure y'all follow those steps and screenshot me proof. If you ever got a video idea that I should do, drop the idea below. Don't forget to get your Huncho merch. I'm gonna leave the link in the description down below. So just click that, and I'll see y'all guys next time. I'm out. Boom.